Hi, this video is intended for people who wish to learn how to ride a bicycle and for parents who are not sure how to teach their kids how to ride. The thing is that you probably, you probably, if you can walk, if you can keep balance while walking, then you know how to ride a bicycle, you are just not aware of it. And I know this sounds a bit like that uh, motivational speaking nonsense, but I will show and demonstrate the technique that is uh, tried and tested in practice with our kids and, and the older and uh, younger kids and uh, adults and it works. So the basic thing is uh, if you have uh, small children, uh, age of uh, three, two years, maybe even, even four if they are not very tall, then the good idea is to get that uh, push bike that doesn't have any pedals. It's just for, for using your feet to propel yourself. And uh, if you give that to a child, they keep the balance right away, they start going and they learn the basics. Uh, uh, training wheels are not helping, they are making it more difficult to learn how to ride a bicycle. And so my recommendation would be to remove the training wheels uh, right away. If you have older children or if you are an, an adult trying to learn how to keep balance on a bicycle, then of course you will not find such a big, uh, big enough push bike, but what you can do is uh, lower your saddle enough, uh, low enough for you to be able to sit in the saddle and put your uh, feet on the ground completely, not just fingers, but full, full foot on the ground and with some bend in your knees. So here I will do just that for this bicycle and then I will demonstrate a few simple, uh, one simple exercise that will help you keep the, learn how to keep the balance and uh, learn how to ride and the idea is to uh, exercise with your bicycle low like this while pushing yourself with your legs. Make sure that you have uh, working functional hand brakes just in case. Uh, do it on flat ground and uh, somewhere where there's not too much car traffic and where there's not much pedestrian traffic because pedestrians can walk out of uh, premises, out of cars, uh, move without no, uh, letting you know so to avoid any injury or similar, find some nice spot that is flat and practice there. In, uh, for children, one afternoon is enough. After that, they can lift their saddle and start using the, the pedals. But for adults, it might take a day or two. But this is a simple exercise that I will uh, get out and uh, show you what I mean. And then I will show you a few steps that uh, you can use to gradually start going towards learning how to ride your bicycle without uh, with your saddle at the optimal height so we'll take the camera now uh, go outside and and demonstrate this okay so the first step is to sit on your bicycle the saddle should be low enough this is not uh, low enough for me and i would need a smaller bicycle for this exercise but this will do and so i will just keep balance and keep pushing You will instinctively do everything that you need to stay in balance. Your body does this instinctively if you don't have training wheels that prevent it. And everything will work fine. You can go very fast like this. Especially if your saddle is lower. If you have a competent mechanic, the pedals can be removed to make it easier for your feet to, to propel. So you don't need to remove cranks, just the, the pedals. You can, you can do that, but you can do it even with the pedals. Once you've gotten accustomed to it and it works nicely, then you can try to either start going with your legs and then put your one foot on the pedal, try to propel, or try to start with one pedal and then continue with your legs like this. When you gain some speed, then you can put your legs on the pedals and see how it fares and your legs are always there to keep you to give you balance and to support you if you start losing balance and especially if you get a bicycle that's a bit smaller like i said here this is too too high for for my height it should have been a bit lower like this and uh, it would work uh, look where you want to go don't look down look where you want to go and your body will keep the balance and in no time you will have learned how to keep balance on your bicycle and, and learn how to ride after you've gotten accustomed to pushing yourself and to using pedals with the saddle very low, 
The next step is to move the saddle a bit higher by a couple of centimeters, one inch, no more. And then keep practicing again. This is that height that we're talking about. So for me, this would be that next step height so I can just, just touch the ground with my feet, but not with my full, uh, full, uh, full foot. So that's the next step and keep practicing and then go for another inch higher and keep practicing and after that you should be able to set your saddle to the optimal height and keep riding uh, as, as an experienced cyclist. So it's really simple for, for kids, it takes one afternoon for each of these steps so in two or three days they can do and ride on their own. For adults it takes a bit longer but, but it works in practice and you can give it a go and see how you fare. It's, so far for us it's been a, a, good, a good method, successful. That's it. Thank you for watching. Cheers.